We got the league starting up this week. Uh, rookie camps are opening up today. Um, what are you seeing? For first, who are the Islander guys you're looking forward to seeing? So it's no secret that the Islanders, unfortunately, as a fan, I can admit this, they have one of the the weaker prospect pools, um, you know, in the league. Uh, all two Rate, who they drafted, um, looking like could be a real steal. I mean, at one point he was supposed to be like first overall uh, before the pandemic started, and then, you know, he fell. But anyway, uh, he'll help. But for the most part, a lot of the prospects have graduated to the main squad over the recent years. You know, Wallstrom, Dobson, um, Sorokin. Uh, so for the Islanders, really, it's Samuel Bolduc. And Bridgeport had a really good year last year. Um, you know, was second in the team in scoring as a young defenseman. That's pretty good. Uh, he's big. He's mobile. He's got a big shot. He's going to be pushing to make this to make the team in the spot that Nick Letty in the void that Nick Letty left. Um, and then Robin Salo. Um, any Ranger fans to Nils Lundqvist? Um, Robin Salo was you know was not far behind him in terms of being one of the better defense. Thank you, Gun. Appreciate that. Um, he was one of the better defensemen in the Swedish elite league. Uh, he came over at the end of his season last year. Of course he didn't play. He was more of with like a black aces, but, um, he's going to be in the mix too. So I would say those two, um, Simon Holstrom, who they took first overall a couple of years ago, I, I thought he was a reach, um, still hasn't really developed like he should have. Uh, so, but the, uh, those are, those are the main three. Um, but, I would say the one that most chance of making the team is Anatoly Golishev. He's been playing in the KHL for Automobilist. Uh, he signed last year and came over. Um, he's actually listed as a restricted free agent right now, but he's one of those guys along with Michael Del Cole and Travis Zajac that Lou has apparently re-signed, but there's uh, no terms or official announcement on. So um, those are the guys for the Islanders you got to watch out for going into this season. No surprise on my number one guy that I'm looking forward to seeing is Nils Lundqvist. Yeah. Uh, we've been told many, many stories about this kid in the scouting reports and everything. And so far, I mean, just in his, his, his interviews, he looks like he's going to be something something great. So um, hopefully he lives up to that hype because well, yeah, he's, he's, he's fast. Um, you know, he's got offensive instincts and he can shoot. And I think, you know, for really any hockey player, but more so a defenseman, if you're quick and agile, you know, you could walk the line, um, you know, get your shot through, have the vision for that. You have a chance of being an effective defender in the NHL. It just comes down to being able to play in your own zone if you want to be a true elite defenseman. So uh, high expectations for him for sure. Um, I'm curious to see if the Rangers are going to give him um, an you know, actual spot in their top six or just be like a healthy scratch to start. But I don't think a young guy – is served by sitting in the press box. So I think for him, you know, you either got to make the team or he's got to play elsewhere where you can play every night. But um, he definitely could fight for one of those bottom pairs for now. I mean, you, Jared Tenorti, Patrick Nemeth, Boteto, um, those are the guys he's going to have to be better than to earn a spot. Because, you know, Truba, Adam Fox, uh, Lindgren, you know, they have spots locked down. So it's just I a couple of spots he's competing for. I think the modern thing in the NHL is that they get the puck out of the zone and moving it up to the forwards. Mm -hmm. And I think he's going to probably hit the ground running with that. He's, he's, he's got to be better than Patrick Nemeth. He's got to be better than, than Jared Tenorti. Um, that's, that's really the guys that I'm looking at with that. I mean, there were a couple other guys, Payunemi, I want to say. Um, I think Hendrickson is going to be here, but I don't know if he's going to be playing. Stat Boy Steven over at Rangers Review on Wardy NHL was uh, good to help us out with that. And, um, and hey, Dave. And um, it's uh, he's got a contract situation with uh, Ferlunda. So it's, yeah, yeah it's so he's, he's, he's not going to make the roster, but I wonder if he's going to play in any NH, uh, preseason games. But again, I'm sure, this he will. Is, this is the time you want to give those guys looks. Yeah, and see what, see how far away they are. You know, it's a good evaluation tool. Now, um, since since we got a few more minutes, what's one of the things you always look forward to in every single preseason? Line combinations. Uh, a lot, of, you know, teams test out who try to tinker with chemistry, see who you know meshes well with the others. Uh, that's something to look out for. 
And then the obvious one, you know, the, the play of the young guys. Like I just said, this is where you gauge to see how far guys are away. Um, if you think they're able to compete at this level, um, that's that's the biggest thing. So, you know, a lot of these guys, you could really – it's a good barometer to say, okay, well, you know, he needs another full year in the AHL or, or, or he needs to be sent back to junior for another year. Um, having a Barzell before his rookie year, um, he got sent – he got a little bit of a cup of tea. And then he got sent back to juniors um, and it did a wonders for him because he came back that following season and, you know, had 85 points. So um, sometimes just not the right time. We need more time. So that, that's something that, you know, is very telling early on in preseason, I think. I think it's also um, you, you were talking about the young guys. It's where, where guys get to announce, hey, I'm going to be here and I'm going to stay here. Uh, one of the guys that I think about with that was Derek Steppen. Uh, Derek Steppen, when he it was his first preseason, I think it was 2010. Uh, yeah, 20 uh, September 2010. He beat um, he beat uh, the former the former Columbus goal. I want to say it was Pascal yeah. Leclerc that just barred down in, uh, in the corner from the blue yeah. line, and I just went, "This kid's gonna gotten an NHL shot." So let's see about this. What blockbuster trade can you see going down? And that's something I was going to say, we'll, we'll get to that a little later. Uh, but I, I, I saw that and definitely wanted to point out that won't be missed. We'll be talking about that. I don't yeah, we got a lot in our Bartok segment. We're going to be skipping over uh, honest press conferences once again today. Yeah. Uh, we, we are going to be uh, start tinkering with the schedule in the next couple weeks yeah. where we'll be bringing you more shows, but um, they're going to be shorter. So yeah. that's where the good news is and the bad news is on that. Um Yes, uh, Dave, that's right. Uh, he actually said this, I believe, on uh, Rangers Review and when he visited with uh, Philk and me last week or two weeks ago. Two so, weeks ago. Yeah. It was right after it was right after you left for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I and I love the preseason. Are they still doing the craft hockeyville? I haven't heard anything about it. I usually yeah. see advertisements about it. I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, because that's a shame if they if they stop doing that. Uh, although you get all your uh, preseason games over in Bridgeport, correct? <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's where yeah. the home games are. See, that's what I like about uh, baseball's spring training says preseason. But you know what? We're all going to suspend all that because we have our guest, Mr. Keith Jones, NHL analyst. Keith, thank you very much for joining us today. Glad to join you guys. How's everything going there in New York? If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.